In the previous class, you have already learned how to make simple drawings. Now, you will learn some advanced features of paint window. Let us first revise a few things. Paint is a simple graphic program to draw pictures on the screen and paint them with beautiful colors. This is frequently called MS Paint or Paint. This program is a part of Windows Accessories. It is a feature in the Windows OS that you can use to draw, color and edit pictures. You can use paint like a digital sketch pad to make simple pictures or even to create creative projects. You can use paint to add text and designs to other pictures such as those taken with your digital camera. There are tools to draw lines, rectangles, circles and other shapes. Moreover, you can make freehand drawings. The best thing is that you can store the picture drawn in paint on a storage device. If you are working with a partner on a computer in lab, offer him or her the mouse and keyboard so that he or she can also add his or her creativity and you can make best drawing. Changing the outline style and fill style of the shape. You can select the outline style for the shape you are going to draw. It includes the thickness of line, the style of line, that is the medium for the shape outline, for example natural pencil or solid color, crayon, watercolor or oil, etc. And also the fill style, that is the color and medium to fill the shape. If you don't want your shape to have an outline, then you can select no outline. You can also select a color to fill the shape before drawing. Once specified, these styles are applied to every ready-made shape. If you want to change the outline style or change the color of outline, do it before drawing the shape. Define your outline style. Select a shape in the shapes group and click outline. Several styles will be displayed. Select and click an outline style. If you don't want your shape to have an outline, click no outline. In the colors group, click color 1 and then click a color for the outline. In the colors group, click color 2 and then click a color to use to fill the shape. To change the fill style in the shapes group, click fill and then click a fill style. If you don't want your shape to be filled, click no fill. Draw the shape. You can do the same changes in the appearance of a shape after drawing until it is selected. Once deselected, no changes can be done. Let us try to draw some figures and color them by using the appropriate tool. Some tools and shapes such as the pencil, brush, line and curve lets you draw a variety of straight and curved lines. Drawing a curved line You can use the curve tool to draw a smooth curved line. On the Home tab in the Shapes group, click the Curve tool. Click Size and then select a line size, which determines the thickness of the line. In the Colors group, click Color 1. Click a color and then drag the pointer to draw the line. To draw with background color, right-click while you drag the pointer. After you have created the line, click the area in the picture where you want the arc of the curve to be and then drag the pointer to adjust the curve. Painting with the brush You can use the brushes tool to draw lines that have a different appearance. It is like using different artistic brushes. By using different brushes, you can draw free form and curving lines that have different effects. On the Home tab, click the down arrow under Brushes. Click the artistic brush that you want to use. Click size and then click a line size, which determines the thickness of the brush stroke. In the colors group, click color 1, click a color and then drag the pointer to paint. To paint using the background color, right click while you drag the pointer. Creating an airbrush effect. In the brushes tool, click airbrush. Select a spray size. Select the color to spray. To spray, hold down left mouse button and drag the mouse pointer over the image. Creating a watercolor effect. 
In the Brushes tool, click Watercolor Brush. Select a brush size. Select the color to draw. To draw, hold down left mouse button and drag the mouse pointer over the image. You can try different brushes to see how they work. Oil brush gives the effect of oil painting and crayon brush gives the effect as you are drawing with crayon colors. There are two calligraphy brushes using which you can write text freehand or draw with the ribbon effect.